I used to work for a company called Wikia, where I ran the international sales operation across various different countries. There was a US-based company, and then I launched the office in London, Brazil, Germany, and Australia, and, um, and we were pretty successful over a four-year period. Um, in 2010, I had an idea to, to invent the world's first long hot water bottle, and the idea came from basically sitting around with a traditional hot water bottle that was just sort of square and, you know, not very practical. So we thought, what if we put the same quantity of water um, inside but sort of shared the love a little bit you know, more and made it a bit longer would it be a better product so I decided you know to do something absolutely beautiful and luxury and obviously I'm on the doorstep of Harrods just a few miles from my place in Wimbledon walked into the store walked up to the to the bed and bath area and spoke to um, um, the brand manager on the store who happened to be there and asked him what the most expensive hot water bottle was and he took me to this hot water bottle and it you know didn't do much for me and I thought you know what we can do a lot better than this it was 160 pounds and I was amazed one of the key factors you know looking back I guess and um, any any anything that I can share with, with 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 similar entrepreneurs or anyone trying to launch something into retail or distribution is to kind of know which market you want to go into and, and really really study and and, and and, and know exactly what type of product you want to put into the market. So I knew I wanted to create the world's most luxurious hot water bottle. I wanted to use the best cashmere, the best rubber. I wanted to sell it in the best stores. When I went back to Harrods, um, I saw the same guy um, on the second floor. There he was with his suit on. I approached him. I didn't say anything. I just looked at him. I gave him the box. He opened it. He saw the Japanese tissue paper, the Sanwa gold leaf tissue paper. He opened it. He didn't say a word. He just took his pad out, he wrote the buyer's name and he said call her tomorrow, I'm going to talk to her today. I went back to the office, had a small celebration, um, called up the buyer who was amazing and she said to me what are you doing tomorrow? Um, 24 hours later we had an order from Harrods. After the first day of sales we got an email from the buyer saying that they sold um, 10 um, hot water bottles, 10 UUs um, within the first day on a quiet Wednesday. Everyone here is thrilled, is, is what it read. If there's one you know, small piece of ad advice I'd give myself if I was doing this again or anyone else, you know, is, is to remember that you know, if you've got something great, don't be, don't be scared to, to, to shout it from the rooftops. And you've got to remember that there's three main things that buyers, you know, that buyers need. And it's, you know, they're either buying for profit, um, you know, they're either buying for, um, uh, for significance, you know, or if it's a personal thing and they just like it. So, you know, I think that's a key element. Um, being in Harrods was brilliant for us because we were able to sort of, you know, um, wave the flag. Not every country, you know, were, were massively familiar with hot water bottles. So it was a bit of a struggle, um, but using as much content and tes testimonials from, these, from this um, deal with Harrods really, really helped us um, open doors in other places.